Hello, and welcome to another episode of Unmute, the well-being podcast brought to you by WeCare. All episodes streamed on Spotify and internally via Core and Concentrics University for our game changers. There's so many exciting things happening in the company, you know, coming out of Concentrics right now. Um, and I like to think that this this podcast is part of that as well. So a little while ago, we we decided to launch a well-being podcast. What we want to do is foster a culture in the company where we're encouraging people to talk about mental health. We want our game changers to feel supported and to have that conversation and really just to normalize it and help to break the stigma. Um, So I just wanted to start off by asking yourself, why do you feel it's important that we have this type of podcast available to our game changers? I have a strong belief that, you know, there shouldn't be anything that we shouldn't be able to talk about, you know, to discuss, uh, you know, to have a conversation about anything. Right. And I do really believe on my core that dialogue is really one of the fundamental, you know, tools that we have as human being, you know, as a society to really like talk about anything, you know, solve problems, you know, kind of make improvements in the way that we live. And so I think that having a podcast that talks about mental health, it's really like a step to be able, as you said earlier, to make this normal, you know, to talk about um, these topics and, you know, to share what we, what all of us, because I do believe we all, you know, struggle with mental health. And so I think that's like a way to like, have a conversation about it or listen to what different people you know think about it or different experiences and again i think that is very enriching and so yeah I, i'm so excited you know that we're able uh, to do that in the end but why do yeah. you feel like there is still stigma surrounding mental health yes i think part of that is surely his maybe historic um, i'm not you know i think that comes a little bit with how you know mental health has been viewed and i wonder whether that has also come from a degree of you know um, not knowing you know what mental health really was right so you know uh, and i know that you know this might sound a little bit basic but you know if if you have a pain or something in another part of your body it's clearly identifiable right you know that something is wrong with your arm or with your leg um but maybe you know when you have you know emotions or you you don't like feel really yourself in terms of like maybe uh like your your thoughts or just your mind or how you're feeling it's hard to pinpoint and so maybe that was some of the was part of the reason why you know historically um it was seen a little bit as like you know Mm, that's a little odd, you know, that that person is having that. Um, And so I think, you know, that that's going back also to what we were saying before, that stigma really exists, still exists today. But I do believe that the only way to break that is, you know, for us to talk about it and just to normalize it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's actually really refreshing to hear because I know how busy your schedule is. So the fact that you're prioritizing, you know, making sure that you do step away and take the dogs for a walk and able to sort of unwind that way. um, Yeah, it's really pleasing to hear. In addition to how busy you are, I also know you as arguably, from my perspective, the most determined and driven person in the company. So with that in mind, I would like to ask, what do you hope this podcast can achieve and what what do you want to come out of this? Yes. So thank you. That's such like a a compliment to me. Um, And also I'm determined, but for me to be able to be determined, I need to have a team around me like um, you know, my uh, my mental health is also knowing that I have a team around me and that I can trust my team and that I feel also that, you know, my team trusts me. So for me, that determination really comes from that. So the re- what I would like, you know, from this podcast, first of all, I would like that our game changers, you know, that find it useful to them, right? That it really... Even if it's a tiny little difference that it makes in their day to day, and even if they get away with just one tiny little things that they feel, you know what, this has given me an idea or this has made a change uh, for me today. I think that's already massive, right? Because I also believe that, and here I'm probably going to go big, but 
if we want to really change the world, we have to start from those little things, right? It, it's those little things that we all do on a day-to-day -day basis that bring that massive impact, right? And of course, we look at this podcast from our concentric, you know, organization perspective, but I think the, the effect of this can go really beyond that. And so what I would like is really, one, that it makes a difference for people. Two, that people view it also as a, something to look forward to. And third, from a more potentially business perspective, I hope that this podcast can really also help, you know, our leaders, our managers, you know, to have tools and ideas on how they can have conversations, you know, with their teams, with their peers. I love that. I love that. Um, and I, I guess it's, it's worth mentioning as well that, Although our aim is to normalize the conversation and to encourage people to have those conversations, it's not then to be mistaken that the conversation would then be easy. We, we are not expecting people to be able to have a really easy, straightforward conversation around mental health because of how sensitive it is. But what we want to do is to support our managers and our senior leads right. and all of our game changers in having that conversation, not, right. not to make them feel like um, they're inadequate because they're finding it difficult. Everyone will find it difficult because of how challenging the subject is. And all we can do is support each other in having that conversation. It's actually a great point, um, uh, Jim, to clarify, because as you say, it is such a complex topic, uh, right? If it was an easy, straightforward topic, you know, we wouldn't be here talking about it. So you're absolutely right. You know, it's really to provide that support to kind of um, um, make sure that we, um, you know, have something for our managers and our, you know, uh, game changers, that, you know, to use. But yes, it is absolutely a very complex problem. And in some circumstances, you know, we might not have, you know, the skills or, you know, e expertise or knowledge to be able, you know, to help sometimes, but at least we can identify when, you know, uh, there is uh, maybe a situation that requires, you know, maybe additional help or expert help. I think it's also important to understand that. Absolutely. Um, and then lastly, do you have a message to any of the listeners of the podcast and anything you'd like to say to them? Yes, I always have a lot of things <laughs> that I would like to say. But uh, for this specific one, I think uh, on top of what I've said, I would just encourage really everybody to give it a go uh, and listen to it, uh, you know, and even if maybe some people might not necessarily be super interested, but I'll just ask that, give it a go, be open, you know, listen to it. And then the second thing would be really let us know what you think about it, you know, any feedback, any topics, any uh, like any areas that you would like us, you know, to focus more or to bring, you know, to the podcast, I think that would be really like perfect because, of course, you know, this is meant to be for us all. And therefore, you know, we uh, we really want to be able to improve, uh, you know, as we go. So just be open to it. Give it a go. Listen, you know, to the episodes and then let us know, you know, really what you think. Yes. You know, if you would like to be, you know, part of the podcast and be like a guest and come actually to participate into the podcast, please reach out. Of course, you know, we need to be able, you know, to open this up, you know, and have, you know, people coming and sharing, you know, topics, experiences. So please, if you want to be, um, you know, a guest a speaker and help us with that, please reach out to uh, the email address wecare at concentric.com and we will contact you and let you know what the next steps are. Thank you. Thank you so much. We count on that. Join us again next week for another episode where we unmute the conversation around mental health.